Hello, hello, good morning. Welcome to your grammar class. How are you today? Okay, good morning. Good morning, Diego de Leon. Good morning, Genesis Luna. Okay, Michelle Franco, good morning. Fernando Marinero. Valentina Navas, good morning. Okay, welcome to your grammar class. Good morning. Okay, you enter to the class and you write present, yes? Okay, excellent. Okay, thank you. So let's see, let's start with the class. This one is our third grammar class of the week. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Let me check here. Okay, Aaron, good morning. So let's see, let's start. Let's review the last explanation about just no question with there is and there are, yeah? Okay, you have this information on pages, uh, let's see, 82 and 83. Okay, so grammar presentation. In that case, yes, no question with there is and there are can ask about people, things, and events, yeah? Okay, and you have two examples here. Is there a tour guide in the museum? Are there any concerts on Friday? Remember, one of these one we use with singular and the other with plural, yeah? Exactly, singular and plural information. And we have the structure, okay? We have the verb be, then the adverb there, subject, place, time, okay? And we have the short answers. And we discuss about the way that we answer, if it is long or if it is short. Okay, so in affirmative short answers, you don't use the contractions, yes? You say there is, okay, yes, there is, or yes, there are, exactly, okay? In full form, not the contracted form. Then you can use it is, or they are, to say more after the short answer, okay? Is there a visitor sitting on over the street? Yes, there is, and you add extra information. It is a, the Sepulveda Hotel. For that reason, you use it is when you talk about singular. But if you talk about plural, are there any parking lots in the area? Yes, there are. And you add extra information, they are on Alameda Street. Yes, for that reason, we use it is and they are. Let's continue. And with long answers, okay? So we have this one that is, you can use one, okay? That's mean we can substitute instead of repeating the noun. For example, is there a visitor center on Olber Street? Okay, yes, there's one in the Sepulveda house. And you don't mention the noun, yeah? You don't say, yes, there is, uh, let me see, a visitor center on Olber Street, no. Okay, so you substitute by the word one. Or maybe if this one is in plural, you can say some or any, yeah? Some, if this one is affirmative, and any, if the answer is negative, yeah? Yes, there are some on Alameda Street. No, there aren't any, okay, in that area. Okay, so let's see. Now we pass to the exercises. You have this one on page 84, yeah? In that case, okay, this one are yes, and no question and answer. So we read uh, the TV schedule that we have here, and we complete the question and the answers that we have in the following part. So use are there any, and is there a for a question or for the questions? And then we write the short answers, yes? Okay, excellent. Thank you, Avi. Okay, so let's see the TV tonight. So let's see at say 6.30 p.m. So we have the news, the weather report at 7 p.m. Talk show, okay? This one is the Guy Norris show. 8 p.m. We have a documentary, and in that case, we we discuss about Antarctica. 9 p.m. This one is a movie, The Long Road. Um, 11.15, okay, a movie. What is Jimmy Jones? 1 a.m., music. 2 a.m., music, one more time. And 3 a.m., comedy. Yeah, that's when this one is kind of movie, yes? Okay, so let's see. Good morning, Lucas. So we have this one, number one. Are there any movies on TV tonight? So this one is a question, okay? We use are there because if you notice the noun, it's in plural, yeah? Movies, yes? Okay, 
So what do you think is the answer? Okay, in that case. So we say, are there any movies on TV tonight? Yes, there. Okay, so let's see in that case. Okay, Fernando Marinero, thank you. So we answer yes, there are, exactly, okay. Yes, there are, in that case, two movies. Okay, next one, number two, is there a talk show? In that case, we use is there, because this one is only one thing, yeah? Talk show, only one. So that means the answer is yes, Okay, yes, there is, exactly. We don't say there are. Yes, there is. Yes, because we talk about only one thing. In that case is, yes, there is one at, in that case, seven. Okay, number three. Thank you, Jeter. Okay, number three, music shows. What do you think is the question? Music shows. Remember, we can use, are there any? Okay, or oh, is there a? Okay, it's the pen of you. Okay, are there? You say Fernando Marinero, are there? Are there? Are there? Exactly, but in that case, we write, are there any? Okay, remember, we discussed in plural. Okay, so we use any when you use the plural adverb. In that case, are there? Are there any music shows? What is the answer? Yes, there. Okay, thank you. Yes, Fernando Marinero. Yes, there are. Okay, remember the question. Yeah, are there? So if it's going to be in plural, the answer is in plural. Yes, there are. What else? Okay, there's one at. In that case, what is the schedule? Yes, there, there's one at. The first one is at, okay, one, in that case we complete with numbers, 1 a.m., exactly, and one at, what is next one? Okay, two, thank you. Okay, 2 a.m., thank you, Aaron, thank you, Fernando, exactly, okay, yes, there are, there's one at 1 a.m. and one at 2 a.m., Okay, good job. Let's see, number two. Okay, sports shows. What is the question in that case? Sport shows. Okay, are there, exactly, are there any, okay, don't forget the word any, yes. Are there any sports shows? And what do you think is the answer? Exactly, you don't forget this word, any. Okay, are there any sports shows? No, there aren't, excellent. Okay, so we were here, no, there aren't. Wait, I'm sorry. No, there aren't. Okay, period. Let's see, no, there aren't, excellent. Number five. Documentary, what is this one? Are there any or is there a? Okay, is there a, exactly, okay. Is there a, exactly, you talk about only one. Is there a documentary? Okay, what is the answer in that case? Yes, there is. Okay, so let's see. Yes, comma, there is one, okay, at eight. Yes, there is one at eight. Excellent. Number six, kids show. What is the question in that case? Kids show. Is there a kids show? Yes, excellent. Thank you, Aaron. Is there a? Okay, kids show, exactly. Okay, don't forget in the question, okay? You use are there and you add the adverb any, okay? And then if this one is singular, is there, okay? Plus the article a, is there a. Okay, we are on page number 84, Kevin. 
Yes, 84, 84. Okay, what is the answer in number six? Is there a kid's show? Okay, so you say, no, there isn't. Exactly, you talk about only one, so you say, no, comma, there isn't. Exactly, okay? No, there isn't or no, there aren't. In that case, kids show. Okay, this is only one, yeah? Okay, not the recent. Okay, good job, not the recent. Number seven, comedy show. What is the question? Is there a comedy show? Exactly, we talk about only one, so we say, is there a? Okay, is there a comedy show? And what is the answer? Yes. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you, Avi. Okay. Is there a comedy show? Yes, there is one at 3 a.m. Exactly. Okay. Yes, comma. There is one at 3 a.m. Period. Okay. Excellent. So, yes, there is one at 3, 3 a.m. Okay. Excellent. Oh, yes, there is. Yes, it's possible. Answer in a short way or long way. Okay, and the last one, number eight, news program. Okay, news program. What is this one? Okay, is there a news program? Exactly. Okay, is there a news program? Okay, in that case, the noun is program. Yeah, and this we discussed about only one for that reason we use in singular. Is there a news program? Remember the news. This one is a name that is in plural, okay? It's a noun that is in plural, okay? Noticias, okay? But in that case, we discuss about program. Yeah, so it's only one. Is there a new program? What is the answer? Okay. Yes, there is. Okay. Yes, there is one at 6.30 p.m. Exactly. Okay. Yes, comma, there is one at 6 30 p.m period okay excellent don't forget to write the period at the end of the sentence okay grammatically is necessary so let's see is there a news program yes there is one at 6 30 p.m okay excellent i give you 30 seconds yeah for finishing this part Okay, for completing this part. And when you finish, you give me all you write in the chat, please. Okay, Miss, I did it. Okay. Okay, Lucas, thank you. Okay, Valentina, thank you very much. Michelle Franco, thank you. Okay. So let's see. Okay, Diego de Leon, thank you very much. Okay, excellent. Okay, Abby, good job. Gabriel, excellent. Okay, Rodrigo, you did it. Sasso. Okay, Fernando Marinero, Valeria Aguilar, you did it. Nicole Flores, yes. Soto, Natalia Torres, you did it. Milena. Okay, Jimena Relajeño. Okay, Genesis, thank you. Michel Franco, you did it. Okay, excellent. Kevin, you complete the exercise. Okay. Okay, thank you, Natalia. Okay, Kevin. So let's see, let's continue. I clear this part and we continue with the next exercise. Okay, so let's see, in this one, in that case, okay, so we write our an ideas, yeah? So we write questions about events in your city or maybe in your town, okay? You use is there a or an, it's the pen of this, the noun, yeah? And are there any? 
them, okay, we ask and answer the question with a partner and you write the answers to the question, okay? It's the pen of the answer of your classmates. So let's see, is there any good movies this weekend? Yes, there are two good movies, okay? Next one, art festival. In that case, okay, Diego de Leon, give me the question using art festival. Art festival. Mm -hmm. mm. You use is there a or an, or you use are there any? Is there a art festival in Cisco? Okay, excellent. Cisco, Cisco is the name of the place that. Yeah, this yeah, one is yeah, a proper Cisco, name. Cisco. Yeah, this one is a proper name. So you say in that form, CIFCO, yeah? Okay, excellent. CIFCO, yeah, CIFCO, CIFCO. <laughs> is there and in that case? Okay, why? Because the next word is or begins with a vowel, yeah? Is there an art festival? Okay, in, let me see, CIFCO. Okay, this weekend, yeah, okay, this one is the question. Okay, so let's see. Or maybe at CIFCO, okay, because it's in a specific place, yes. Is there an art festival in CIFCO this weekend? So remember, use this part. A, uh, if the next word begins with a consonant, or an, if the next word begins with a vowel. Okay, check this one. Excellent. So let's see, next one, jazz concert. Okay, so help me please, Valentina Navas. Okay, give me a question with this one, jazz concerts. Okay, what is the expression that we use? Um, is there a um, jazz concert? Okay. So, but in that case, it's in plural. So we use, are there, okay, are there, what else? Any jazz concerts, okay? Remember, this one is in plural, concerts, okay? That's when we talk about only two or three. Are there any jazz concerts in the park? Is possible, yeah? Okay, so you write the, the answer. Yes, thank you, Valentina. Okay, baseball game. Let's see, give me a question. Okay, Natalia Torres. Baseball game. Okay, you use is there a or are there any? What is the expression that you use? Mm, I use are. Are okay. This one is in plural or is in singular? Baseball game. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, exactly. So we say is there. Okay. Baseball game. Okay, and give me a place. Is there a baseball game in your town? It's possible to say that, yeah? Okay, excellent. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Is there a baseball game in your town? And you answer, yes, there is, or maybe no, there isn't. Yes, it's the pen. Okay, good job. Let, next one, dance performance. Let me check. Okay, give me a question, let me see. Okay, Ari. Okay, Abby. Okay, 
Is there a dance performance in the stadium? Okay, is there a, exactly, a dance performance at the stadium, yeah? In that case, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's see. And you answer, yeah? Next one, number five, new paintings at the museum. In this case, is singular or is in plural? New paintings at the museum. We discuss about paintings, so we use, okay, plural, we use are there, exactly, okay? Are there any new paintings at the museum? Okay, so, and you answer. And the last one, good movies. Okay, this one is singular or plural? This one is plural, so we say, are there any, okay, good movies at the cinema? Yeah, okay, and you answer. Yes, there are, or no, they aren't. Yes, okay. So these one are examples, yes? You can write your own questions in your own answers, yes? Okay, excellent. When you finish this part, you tell me, yeah? Okay, means I finished, means I did it. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Genesis also. Okay, Michelle. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Okay, Lucas, thank you very much. Okay, Kevin, you did it? Okay. Okay, Genesis Luna. Thank you, Nati. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, David Leon, thank you very much. Okay, Fabiola, you did it. Milena, Nicole Flores, Fernando Marinero, Valeria Aguilar. Okay, excellent. So let's see, let's continue. Next part. Okay, so this one, this exercise. Okay, thank you. So let's see, this one is exercise C, and in that case, okay, we answer each question with just in three different ways, okay? So you give information about your own area if it is possible, yeah? For example, is there a mall in this town? So we have three possibilities, okay, for answering this part. Yes, there's one on Westwood Avenue. Yes, there's, okay, a mall on Westwood Avenue. Yes, it's on Westwood Avenue, okay? so. We have three possibilities. The first one is, yes, there's, in the contracted form, there's one. Yes, there's a, or maybe yes, it's, okay? Or it is. It's possible to answer in that part, yes? Okay, excellent. So let's see. Now, is there a good coffee shop, okay? Nervy? Is there a good coffee shop nearby? It's the pen of your city, yeah? Okay. Ah, uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, because the, the, the letter is, yeah, it's tiny. They can write the three answers. Yeah, but in our case, we only write one, yeah? Okay, but you decide. 
the only right one of the answers, not three, because the space that we have here is not enough. Okay, but you decide the form that you answer. Yes. Okay, excellent. This one is a good observation, I know. Okay, is there a good coffee shop, Nerby? Okay, and you answer? Imagine that you answer yes. Okay, so we answer yes. Okay, which is only one. There's, okay, or oh, there is, it's possible, yes, there is. One on, uh, let me see, El Volcan Street. Okay, we say that. This one is an example, yeah. El Volcan Street, yes, and that's all. Okay, yes, there is one on El Volcan Street. That's me, there is one good coffee shop near to my house. Okay, excellent. Let's see, is there an art museum? Okay, so we answer one more time in affirmative way. So we can say, we answer in other four, no, in other way. Yes, okay, there's a, Okay, or in that case is an and art museum mm, next to the supermarket, yeah? Okay, yes, there's an art museum next to the supermarket, okay? The next one, is there an ice park? Okay, we answer yes, okay. It is, or it's, if you want, it's on uh, Las Magnolias Avenue. Yeah. Okay. And we use the three ways for answering. Yeah. But in that case, we only write one because the space that we have is not enough. Okay. So, yes, there is one. Yes, there's and yes, it's. Okay. Number five, is there a sports stadium? So you answer in that case and you choose one, okay? You answer there is, there's, and, or it's. It's the point of view. Is there a big movie theater? Okay, and you answer in that way. Okay, yes. There's, okay, the contracted for. Yes, there one in front of. Okay, in front of the theater. Okay, this one is not real. Uh, let's see, addresses, yeah. Okay, is that a big movie theater? So we answer, yes, okay. It is on, um, let's see, El Boquerón street okay i don't know if exists i still with this name but this one is only an idea yeah yeah it is on el bucaran street yes okay excellent okay when you finish this part you tell me yeah Okay, Genesis Asos, done. Okay, Lucas Carvajal, excellent. Okay, remember, we have a lot of possibilities for answering in that part, yeah? Contracted for, full form, okay? Different words, for example, there is one or there's one, there is a, or maybe there's a, okay? Yes, it is, or maybe yes, it's, okay? In that case, in that form, because it's going to, uh, we talk about singular places, yeah? Okay, thank you, Aidan. Thank you, Lucas. Good job. Excellent. Okay. So, we continue in some seconds, yeah? Okay, Abby. Okay, Kevin. Okay. Excellent. So let's see. Let's continue. Yes. Okay. Remember, at the end of the period, I check your book. Okay. And I check every exercise that we develop in class. Yes. 
Okay, try to complete during the classes. Let's see, let's continue. Okay, now this one is a game that I have here. Okay, for example, okay, this one is a question and you tell me an object that you can find in the different places, yes? Okay, but you use there is or maybe there are. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's start in order, yes? Okay, Abby, what is, okay, what is there in the fridge? Or what are there in the fridge in that case? Because you can mention uh, different things. Okay, Abby. Okay. What are there in the fridge? Um, I don't hear you, Abby. No le escucho. Creo que tiene que chequear su sonido. Okay, Diego de Leon. What are there in the fridge? In a fridge, um, <laughs> there are a milk, milk, there are vegetables, fruits, okay. there are meats. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of things, yeah? <laughs> but yeah, right now, so we don't that... remember. <laughs> okay, excellent. So let's see. Thank you, Diego. So check something. When you answer, okay, check or imagine that the noun is singular or is plural. It's, if this one is countable or uncountable. For example, when you say milk, this one is an uncountable noun. So you mention in singular. For that reason, you say there is some milk. Okay, you don't count. Okay, it's different when you say there are, okay, three bottles of milk, because in that case you count the bottles, not the milk. But when you mention the milk, this one is an uncountable noun, so you say there is. Yes, there is milk, there are tomatoes, there are vegetables, etc. Yes, okay, so let's see now, Valentina Navas. Okay, let's see. What are there in the wardrobe? What are there in the wardrobe? This one is similar to closet, yes? Um, there are clothes. Okay. Mm. There are pants, okay. There are paid of shoes. Yes. Okay. Excellent. So let's see. Let's continue. Next one. Uh, let's see Natalia Torres. Okay. What are there in the hospital? There are beds. Okay. What else? Okay. There are doctors, nurses. Yes medicine okay all of this one yes we have a lot of things here okay let's see next one uh let's see genesis luna what are there in the mall what are there in the mall okay if you don't activate you can't activate your sound you're in the chat yes Okay, but you write the answer in the chat. So let's see what are there in the mall. Okay, what are there in the mall? Okay, think your answer and then you give me. Okay, let's see next one. Uh, Jedar, okay, what are there in the kitchen? Okay. Yes. Okay. What are there in the kitchen? Okay, there are some doors. Okay. What else? And some tools and I don't know the name of that thing. 
<laughs> okay, so we can find spoons, okay, forks, etc. Yeah, dishes, glasses. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. So let's see. Let's continue. Then if we have enough time at the end, we continue with this exercise, yeah, because we have a lot of uh, examples and exercises in our book. Okay, let's continue. So this one are common mistakes. Yes, this one is the point number four. You find this one on page 85. This one is a review, okay, or a summary of the different rules that we study in this week. Use the list with singular nouns, okay? And use the nouns with plural nouns. This one is clear, yes? Okay, number two, there is, and there are, introduce new people, places, and things, okay? It is, and they are, give more information, okay? Number three, use the full forms in academic writing, but don't use the contraction, specifically when you write a report or summary, etc. Number four, in informal speaking, people often say they are very quickly. So it sounds like, in that case, they are. Don't confuse them in writing, yeah? This one is when you speak, because we speak with fluency, so we uh, say very fast. Let's see. Now, this one is the exercise that we have here. This one is a paragraph. So we find and correct seven more mistakes in the article about New York City's famous park, yeah? I read and you tell me what are the mistakes that we have, okay? Okay, thank you, Genesis. So let's see, New York City's Central Park. New York City is an expensive place to visit, but there is in that case, okay, we correct this mistake, one place because we mentioned only one, there is one place, okay, uh, let's see, that is always free, Central Park. Okay, so there is a very big part in that case. So in which case, in that case, we say it's not there is because this one is extra information. So we have right here, it, okay, in that case. It is a very big part. Why? Because this one is an information add to the, the first sentence for the reason we use it. In fact, it is about 2.5 miles, that's mean four kilometers long, and 0 0.5 miles, so that's mean 0 0.8 kilometers wide. Okay, there is over, in that case, we correct this one, 843 acres. So this one is in plural, we write are, not is, okay? There are, in that case, in the park. There is fields, okay, ponds and lake. This one is plural, so we substitute the verb is by are, okay? There are fields, ponds, and lakes. Visitors enjoy different kinds of sports and events here. There are walkers, joggers, skaters, bicyclists, and bird watchers, yeah? Okay, this sentence is correct. Let's see. There's a zoo, and in that case, let me check, okay? We have here, there are, okay? So this one is in singular, it's not in plural, okay? For that reason, so there are a zoo and two ice skating. Ah, okay, this one is correct, I'm sorry. Rings, there's also an outdoor theater. In that case, so we use there is. Remember, in affirmative sentences, we do use the contraction. So specifically, because this one is written part. So we use there is. There is also an outdoor theater. The theater has Shakespeare in the park, summer festivals. Yes, there is a swimming pool in the summer too, okay, throughout the year. There are in that case, yes. Okay, this one, we don't use their horse in carriage rides, no. So we use there are in that case. Okay, every year there is over 25 million visitors. Okay, in that case it's in singular in that part, but we correct the mistake that is in plural. There are over 25 million visitors. Okay, they are happy to visit a fun and free New York City tourist attraction. Yeah, okay, let's see. These one are the mistakes that we correct in this paragraph. Yes, okay, excellent. 
Thank you very much for paying attention. And the last exercise that is providing us we saw in next week, yeah, in the next class. Okay, have a nice afternoon. Okay, have a nice weekend with your family. Enjoy a lot and God bless you.